This problem says ABCD is a square, lines AD, AG and DC are tangents to the circle, find the size of angle theta. If you'd like to give this problem a go, pause the video now. Also I should have said, we're also given in the diagram that this line here is split into the ratio 2 to 3 by the straight line AG. Okay, the first thing I'm going to do is draw two radii from the center of the circle to E and H, creating an isosceles triangle. And then we know that the angle between the radius and the tangents is 90 degrees. Also the base angles of that triangle are equal. So we have two equal angles here I've marked in green. Uh, also, these two angles over here are going to be equal BFH and FHG. FHG is vertically opposite. BFH is alternate. So all of those four angles I've marked in green are equal. Now because AB and AG are straight lines, then these two base angles of this triangle AFH will also be equal. So we have an isosceles triangle AFH that tells us AF equals AH and also AI equals AH because they're tangents to a point. That's one of the other circle theorems we're going to be using here. So, we've, so far we've used two circle theorems, the angle between a radius and a tangent and tangents to a point. If you want to know more about all of the circle theorems you need to know for GCC mathematics, uh, check out my video on those. Okay, let's write down what we've found so far. So AFH is isosceles, AF equals AH equals AI, angle AHE equals DEH. And also uh, we know that the base angles of this triangle will be 90, take theta on two. Think about the angles in a triangle, they add up to 180 degrees. So these two angles added together will be 180, take theta. And then to find them individually, divide by two. So that's 90, take theta on two. Uh, then this green angle is uh, the external angle of this triangle. To find that, you can add these two angles together, theta plus 90, take theta on two. So the green angle is 90, take theta on two plus theta or 90 plus theta on two. Okay, that tells us that uh, that angle in there, the base angle of that isosceles triangle must be theta on two, right? The entire angle is 90 plus theta on two. This part's 90, this plus theta on two. Also note that ID is equal to the radius of the circle, uh, which is also equal to FB because AF and AI are equal. So ID equals FB which equals R, the radius. Okay, so we're going to use all that information now uh, and draw some similar right triangles. The first right triangle I'm going to draw is EJF. So I'm drawing a horizontal line from E to J through the center of the circle. And this right triangle, as we just showed, has an angle of theta on two. Next, we're going to draw another right triangle bisecting the isosceles triangle. That also has an angle of theta on two. And also we know the short leg of that right triangle will be one. Again, because we've bisected that isosceles triangle, we cut the angle in half and we cut the base in half. So in relation to the other lengths, this length is one. And the other right triangle we're going to create is inside the circle here. Inside the semicircle, that also has an angle of theta on two. Because of all of the angles are the same, we've created three similar right triangles. Uh, a few other things to note. Uh, we'll let JF equal A. So we're going to let this length here equal A. So then AF equals R plus A. So AJ is R, so AF is R plus A. Also JE, which is the same as the length, uh, side length of the square, that's equal to AB, which is equal to 2R plus A. Okay, so let's look at these three right triangles separately now. We know the hypotenuse of the blue right triangle is 2R, two times the radius of the circle. We know the hypotenuse of the green right triangle is R plus A, and we know the hypotenuse of the red right triangle was five in relation to the other lengths. Uh, next, we know the long leg of the, the large right triangle is 2R plus A. Um, so using similar triangles, we can compare the ratios of the sides of those triangles. So the ratio of the hypotenuse to the short leg on this triangle, five to A, will equal the, the same ratio on uh, the green right triangle. So five on A is equal to R plus A to one. This equation allows us to write R in terms of A. Uh, so rearranging, we can say R equals five on A, take A. Uh, and we can also write that as five take A squared on A. 
Next we can create another equation using the other ratios. So 2r plus a to 5 is the long leg to the hypotenuse. So that ratio is equal to the same ratio on the blue triangle, 3 to 2r. And these two equations are actually enough to solve for a and r. So rearranging this, we get 4r squared plus 2r, 2ra equal to 15. So I multiplied this side by 2r, this side by 5. And now because we have r in terms of a, we can substitute that in for r here and then solve for a. So we're going to take that value for r, substitute that into that equation. Uh, the, the algebra is a bit messy. Going to have to spend some time simplifying that because this is a fraction. So do all of that simplifying, do all of the arranging, rearranging. After, after all of that, a bit of a messy algebra, you should get this equation. 2a to the power of 4, take 45a squared plus 100 equals 0. And this is basically a quadratic. Well, it's a quartic, but you can substitute x squared for a to the power of 4, and then it becomes a quadratic that you can solve. You can use the quadratic formula or a quadratic solver or even possibly factorizing. I don't think I even tried to factorize this. But however you like, you can solve that quadratic and you should get two positive solutions. We don't care about the negative solutions because we're talking about lengths. So two positive solutions for A, they are root 10 on 2 and A equals 2, 2 root 5. One of these we can rule out. 2 root 5 is about 4.5, uh, which is not possible here if you think about the lengths of these right triangles. So for example, if this length was 4.5, uh, this long leg would be 4.5. It must be less than 5, right? So 2r would have to be less than uh, 1, let's just say. So 2r, if 2r is less than 1, uh, that doesn't fit with this right triangle because then the hypotenuse would be less than the long leg, which is impossible in a right triangle. Okay, so we can rule out 2 root 5 as a possible solution in this case. So we have a solution for a of root 10 on 2, and that's actually enough to solve for theta. So we now know the side length of this right triangle is root 10 on 2, and remember the angle is theta on 2. So using our trig ratios, we can say sine of theta on 2 equals the opposite side over the hypotenuse, root 10 on 2 on 5. Simplifying that, you can write that as root 10 on 10, and then using the inverse sine of root 10 on 10, then multiplying by two, you should get a final solution of theta approximately equal to 36.87. So there you go, I hope you liked that problem. Thanks for watching. Subscribe if you wanna see more content and I'll see you in the next one. Bye for now.